super super excited everybody um we have a new water plugin update from oceanology um it is version 5.1.6 it's a brand new version it is a total rewrite that's why it took so long for them to do i believe uh, version 6 is going to be coming out next year um i know they are going to be adding some neat things in that uh so check out the discord for that stuff okay and then as well what we're going to be doing is is showing you guys how to properly install this because there is a little bit of um, stuff that kind of takes to install it but we're going to go ahead and kind of show you guys how to do that so the first thing is um, if you have the old version installed this is one issue that i had um, if you have the old version installed uh, what i did was i went to the 5.3.2 i went to installed plugins and right here under the oceanology i hit remove and then when i did that it fully removed it from my system and then under oceanology here i went install to engine and it went ahead and it installed it so then what i did was i created a brand new project um so i have i have two because i've been i've been messing around with it um so what you do is you launch 5.3.2 you create a blank project then what you do all right is you go to your uh da, 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 you go to your projects folder all right so we're going to go here to the projects folder we are going to go to config default engine.ini we're going to edit that and in there we are going to add a whole bunch of render setting that's where you add all of this stuff and it's actually in the discord you should definitely join the discord and there's special code that you guys uh need to add to that so that you're you know to make sure that it works okay so go to the discord and you add that to the i and i and when you do that you're you're going to um essentially let me copy and paste all this code here uh, in the discord there is a 5.1.6 uh, code that you need to copy which i'm trying to copy for some reason copy text there we go copy text and we're going to go ahead and do that right now so i have my render settings right here we are going to go ahead and grab all of that and we're going to copy that um, i may have copied texture virtual pool did i do that twice no i didn't so essentially yeah i did all of that oh we got a little bit of an error there from copying that let me do that our pool size so streaming pool size brings up your memory if you have enough on your video card you got to be careful so check your video card memory um, you you can do that but it's going to max out your video card and then you're going to go ahead and hit save on the default engine.ini and then you're going to go ahead i believe hold on i just want to make sure that that was the correct unreal ocean yeah so that was just ocean not ocean 2 so we're going to double click that project and we're going to open that up okay once your project um so once your project is opened up what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the content drawer here um and we're going to go to settings and you want to make sure the show engine content and show plugin content is available and then what you're going to do is is open up here engine and then you're going to open up plugins and you're going to scroll all the way down until you see oceanology and then there's the oceanology content right here and what we're going to do is we're going to go into the maps all right so we have the maps and we have the uh, demonstrations and we have the open world we're going to start with the open world which is the horizon map so with that we are just going to double click it and we are going to load the horizon map this one may take a while depending on what machine you have and as well if you open it and there's nothing there i'm going to show you how to uh, how you can actually load it in okay so here we are loaded into the horizon map if your map 
does not show up and it's just black that's because your world partitions have not loaded so how you actually do that is on the right side here you're gonna have a tab called world partition if not you'll have to get it from the top menu there and what you're gonna do is using your left you're gonna click and highlight an area you can see now how it stayed there and you're gonna right click and you're gonna go load region from selected and when you do that it's gonna start loading everything in okay so that's kind of uh, what's happening now so this is the oceanology uh, plugin right now you can see here it's on the beach with the waves looking pretty good it's looking pretty good the only thing that's missing a little bit of breaking waves there but I believe that is coming in one of the new features so what we're gonna do is is we're gonna hit play we're just gonna hit play and see see what it looks like we're gonna go ahead and hit play here it's gonna take us probably to a third person character oh there we go look at that Ooh, look how pretty this looks so what's cool is here you're gonna see in the top left corner I'm just gonna turn here so entered water started swimming surface locking swim fast underwater underwater counter so what's cool about that is and I'm gonna actually show you we're gonna, we're gonna go over here in the water to see hey did I enter in the water or not physics here let's go over some water come on come on what are you doing there you go you're gonna start floating in the water aren't you there we go got some nice little buoyancy going on there look at that that is very very cool look at that you can have like little bubbles going on in the water so there you go it says i've entered the water true and then when i exit it says false very cool and now we're gonna start swimming swim fast equals true that's when I'm holding shift down and the longer you stay underwater the longer you're gonna have you're gonna actually like die so let's just go here some underwater counter one second two three let's start swimming faster four five and then there we go now I'm not underwater I want to go over to the pirate ship over here Fun fact, if you stay under the water too long, you'll die. <laughs> you'll drown. I want to get over to the pirate ship here. I probably should have uh, fast forwarded a tiny, tiny bit. sound effects for when you go underwater and when you're above water that's very cool you get that kind of cool effect let's go over here and check that out the pirate ship is floating in water that's very very cool that's i don't even know if i'll be able to let's see if i can get onto the pirate ship oh Almost. Almost. Come on, get on the pirate ship. Am I going to be able to get on the pirate ship? I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get on the pirate ship. No. Nope. Alright, I'm not going to be able to get on the pirate ship. I hope I don't drown. Let's see if I drown. You are drowning. <laughs> drowning counter. Uh oh. Am I going to drown? Oh, I have died. <laughs> so that is very, very cool, guys. Check that out. So as you can see here, this pirate ship is actually a blueprint and it's probably got some stuff attached to it. I'm not going to take a look into that today, maybe another day, but this is the scene here. Um, you guys can definitely play around with the water. If you click on it itself, you can start seeing it's got kind of like a collision uh, thing that's happening there. You can see the collision on the landscape, which is pretty neat. And as well, if you scroll down on the left side here, you can stop the simulation of the water. You can start it. There it is. Um, you have the water projection masks that you have. You have the masks right now, object visibility of the mask, landscape visibility of the mask. So see, there you go. I just turned that off. That's at zero. Uh, object visibility, if you turn that on. 
which is pretty cool. Let's keep scrolling down here. So you have your global, okay, uh, displacement of the waves. These are the Gerschner waves here. And right now they're at an eight. You have a global wave direction of negative 0.5. So for example, if we start messing around with that, you can see we're starting to get like some higher waves going on. So that's pretty cool. Look at that. Look how good that looks actually. That looks really, really good. There is a little weird. I don't know if that's just the viewer. Hold on here. Let me see my quality settings. No, I'm on Epic right now. Huh. Getting a little bit of weird kind of. And my screen percentage is at 100. That's a little weird. So you're getting a little bit of stretching there. I don't know if that's just how it is, but that looks pretty cool. Look at that. Look how good that looks. That looks so, so good. That looks good. And that's just with me playing with this. If I reset it back to eight, you can go really high and really crazy. There's 50. That is really, really cool. And you can have the overall length too. You can bump that up of the wave size. So you can go like 0.5. There's 0.5. Obviously, you can play with the speed. The speed now is going way too quick. So let's go 0.5. There we go. Uh, choppiness, we can change that if you want a little more choppiness or less choppiness. So these are kind of the things that you guys can play with to kind of make your waves. That's the global one. And then you can fine tune it, actually. I'm just going to turn all that. Then you can fine tune it. So we can play, for example, the overall size here. I'm going to go with like 30 for right now, get a little higher waves going. And then you have the base offset. So you can actually play with all of these. So right now that's at 80. You can go to 100 or you can go bigger, 200. But then it starts getting a little too crazy. But look at that. It's cool. But now you're starting to get some tiling in the background. I'm just going to reset that. Perfect. Let's reset that. So that's kind of the overall thing that you can do um, with this map here, which is pretty cool. You can see all the different things. They also have all these different volumes that you can click on. So for example, this is a physics volume and that's what affects everything inside this volume. You also have an uh, oceanology RVT height map. So the RVT. Okay, and then yeah, you have the battleship collision right there. So that's the blueprint. And of course you got the sounds, player starts. So you got a whole bunch of them. And of course you have the foliage and everything. And that's kind of the base map there, which is pretty cool. And now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a look at other demonstration stuff here. So we're gonna look at the Buford scale stuff here. We're gonna double click that. No, let's not save that. This should load pretty quick. These are all the different kind of ocean settings that you guys can take a look at. And once again, if you go down to here, look, you can see here, the global displacements have been there and as well, the different wave types here. Oh, the buoyancy. You have eight, 12, 16. Let's take a look at the wireframe. I wanna see the wireframe. That's pretty cool. All right, so that's kind of the Buford scale one map. Let's go two, let's take a look at two. Let's not save that. Ooh, check that out, see, look at that. So you can copy and paste these settings into, you know, your different things. So you have like four here, you have 0.5, and let's go to Gershner here. I don't think they, they didn't change anything in here that I can see, because you would see the reset symbol there. So that's pretty cool. But if you did reset this or reset all of it, it would go back to the original right there, which looks really, really good. They probably pay, played with a bit of the foam settings. So there is foam settings that you can add or change if you want. So you can definitely change a lot of this here, which is pretty cool. But that looks so, so good. Look how good that looks. Even just the default looks amazing. Let's check out the other Buford scales. Uh, 
that looks so nice. So if you're just creating a vast ocean here, that, that looks really, really good. And essentially, once again, these are all just different kind of different kind of looks and feels to give you guys a different kind of feel for the ocean. And then there's the foam right there. The foam looks really, really nice. I, I really like the foam. And like here too, you can play with the contrast of the foam, which is really, really nice. Uh, where is it? I believe uh, you have the foam normals, which is really, really nice. And you can up that. So if you up the foam normals, you're going to get like a little bit of a more kind of foamy look. So that's kind of what it looks like normally. And then you can go for like a 10. Let's go like 500, see what it does. Yeah, you're getting like there. Max steps, min steps, shadow steps, bubble normal. So you even get the bubble normals going. That's pretty cool. That's very, very cool. Foam looks really nice. Foam actually looks really, really good. And you can change the UV of the foam too. So you can change that. I like how it's not uniform. Like it's not, doesn't look tiled. That looks really, really good. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, we'll just keep going through them. We'll just keep going through them. All the different ones here. That looks really good. That looks really, really good. V4 mat. And as you go through, you can start seeing the waves are getting higher. Waves are getting higher, getting a bit more foam because of that, which is really nice. That's a little, oh, look at that. I should just create a loop of this with these sounds. There's no sounds on here, but that's fine. <laughs> and then the find the before. There we go. Oh, look how good that looks. That looks so, so good. There's just so many settings you can play with here. I'm going to have to like go through and just deep dive with a lot of them. So that's the Buford scale stuff. And let's go now for some custom stuff. Surface scattering map. Actually, let's try that. So this is the subsurface scattering. Oh, look how good that looks. That looks really, really good. How pretty that looks. And then, of course, here you have the lake, which is right here. This is actually the, the lake. This is a, the Oceanology Lake that comes with it. So you can have, like, a smaller little lake area. They change it to, like, a red color. All right. So this is the surface scattering demo map. Let's check out what else they have. Effects. Let's check out the mask map. That's the ocean. Try to grab the sphere. Very cool. So that's like the mask, which we'll have to take a look at, which I believe on the mask, uh, if I'm not mistaken, trying to remember there's something you have to apply on here i don't know if it's a generate hit events or oh no that's when you're doing the um the what's it called the uh simulation so that's good so that's that's very very cool that you have this mass kind of thing going on very cool yeah you can see here see how like on the landscape so this is the actual this is the landscape. 
and you can see it's masking around the landscape. If you click on it, you can actually see it masking around the landscape. Very cool. So I'm guessing that's in the mask settings somewhere. Mask, water projection. I'm going to have to mess around with the mask settings to see how we can get that to work. But that is very, very cool. A little particle system here too. That's a rain. Oh. That's very cool. There's like a little rain system here. That doesn't look like rain to me though. <laughs> uh, RVT height map demo. Still a little bit of weirdness going on here. You can see here. If I click on this. Da -da 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 -da. So there we go. So there's the landscape visibility. And then you can go in essentially and paint some of this stuff as well. So you can go in and let's check that out. Let's see what happens. We are going to negative sculpt this. There we go. There we go. Very cool. And now you're getting foam along the edges there. Very cool. Just needed a bit of an update like once I went to paint it, but that is very cool. See, I still got to play with things. I don't know if there's like a volume that can like change, for example, because right now, if in this area here, you can see it's all pretty standard stuff. I'm wondering if there'll be a way to affect that sound of waves map. Okay, let's do that. Let's hit play. Just get right in there. I guess those are like the sound volumes. Sphere one, sphere two. We'll have to take a look at that. So essentially the sounds are being affected only in here. That's very cool. That's, that, this water is looking amazing. Volumetric map. Oh, underwater. Very, very cool. So that's above and below. Oh, they even have like little bubbles floating up. That's sick. <laughs> you see that they have the little bubbles floating up. That is very, very cool. And they got the water caustics and everything. Oh, now all the shaders are loaded in. That looks really, really good. That looks really, really good. That just had to load in there. And then once again, that's the lake right here. Be able to select it. Yeah, that's the Oceanology Lake. All right, let's see what else. We got some experimental stuff. That's the multiplayer stuff. I'm not going to really get into that. Let's just quickly take a look at the objects map. Let's see here and see how these things are. So let's just go ahead and hit play. just with the buoyancy and everything let's go over here I also have it in the lake lakes pretty standard very cool let's check out when I hit play and see what happens boom very cool so once again these maps are here to kind of help you um, do stuff so these are the physics volumes where you can control like for example the physics inside so these ones, I'm assuming, are just going to fall right down. So if I hit play, let's see what happens. There you go. They just fell right through because they had no physics. Okay. That's cool. Swimming map. This we kind of already messed around with when we were in the other demo.
are drowning. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But yeah, this looks really, really good. I think once they get the crashing waves, it's going to look really good. And then the quadri render map. Okay. So these are just like game ready maps. Look at this. That looks so good. Okay, perfect. Well, that's kind of the overall view of the demo maps. If there's anything you guys want to see, please let me know in the description. Please like, subscribe, comment. And it really helps up the channel, guys. Thank you very, very much. And hope you have a good one.